The following program is brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends. It's going to be a great show today. I have been waiting for ever to get a magician on here today, an illusionist, a master of tricks, and he's here today, Taylor Reed. It's going to be a great show. Did you know that today is also, according to HolidayInsights.com, today is National Junk Food Day. No, I'm not going to eat a bunch of junk food. I know I eat a lot of the different things of every day, but I'm just going to say, I guess, what is junk food? Junk food would be stuff that's uh, artificial, fried, uh, you know, maybe has synthetic things, you know, but I just, I just picked out a few things. At right here at the Treehouse Deli, we have hot dogs. That definitely is, you know, 75% water. The rest, we can't even name the things that are in it. But, the, but, you know, we have candy in here for the kids, everything from Tootsie Rolls, love those, to chips, barbecue chips, my favorite. So all that junk food and all that to say that this show will not be junk. Roll it. From Branson, Missouri, the Christian entertainment capital of the world, it's the Kevin Shorey Show. Taped before a live studio audience at the world famous Branson Mill in Branson, Missouri. Today's special guest, Taylor Reed. And now, here's your host, Kevin Shorey. Hey, welcome to the Kevin Shorey Show. I'm Kevin Shorey. It's been a great day to serve the Lord. No lie, it's not only National Junk Food Day, but July is considered National Hot Dog Month. I was just looking that up. I just realized that. So it's a good day to eat hot dogs. Not really. Anyway, it's also Jesse James, who's a hero around here in Missouri. Not kind of a hero, but a legend. His first train robbery was today. In 1873, Jesse James and his gang robbed their, robbed their first train. Only say that he's a legend around here because he's originally from Missouri. Did y'all know that? You ever seen? Okay. Well, we want to thank everybody for not robbing us, but <laughs> but supporting us. And we're so thankful that you support this Christian television ministry that's going around the world. We're announcing our new station, our new schedule on Roku, WGN, our network is called WGN, which stands for We Got a Network. And so we do. This network is uh, going to go around the world and starting at 7 a.m. from 7 to 11. Is that what we said? From se No, it's 11 to 7. That's it. It's going to start at 11, so you don't have to get up early. From 11 to 7, starting with my show, new programming, sports from a Christian perspective, news the latest in the news from a Christian perspective, and music videos. We're going to be playing music videos, a 30-minute called The Beat. Those things are going to be on, plus some great guests and people that have been on our program. Those are still to be on our program, but our great national speakers will have their programs on the WGN. So that's something to look forward to. And you can watch our full hour every day on Roku, Roku if you knew that, at WGN, in case you didn't know that, or go to KevinShorey.com. Anyway, what helps us is your partnership, and for $33 a month this year, we're sending free gifts every month, free shipping. No, you don't even have to ask. If you send $33 or more every month until the end of the year, we'll send you a gift. We have the newest DVD about silver. That is uh, Gordon Pedersen's DVD that was made right here. Nobody else has this DVD. This is ours to give to you to say thank you for your partnership. We have his newest book, The New Fighting Chance, about silver. So you that have ordered silver especially want to get this information. And then my praise and worship CD sent to you for $33 a month. Thank you so much. We'll talk about that more later. But, of course, you know about the generators. We still have a, a few hundred. Uh, Kevin, I think over sure, 500. Kevin, get, Kevin. What? Is just stick up. Kevin, give me all your generators. What? All the generators? All of them, Kevin. Uh, did you know we have over 500 over there? You see that? Yeah. That, that's, okay. that's a lot of generators. Uh, yeah, I'd like to give them to you, but how are you going to take them? You just have a, I didn't, a gun. I didn't think that through, Kevin. No, you didn't uh, think that uh, through. Sorry, J Jesse. J anyway, we will send you these generators, free shipping. You don't have to steal it for $599. Well, let's let a professional talk about it. Come on, roll it. 
This amazing solar generator is easy to use, portable, and affordable. Keep one in your car for emergencies, camping trips, or tailgate parties. The included solar panel collects free sunlight and stores extra energy in its lithium batteries. Get one for your house to charge your phone, computers, or run your lights to lower your electric bill. Just a few years ago, a generator like this would cost thousands of dollars. Today, just $599. And the second generator for only $499. It's 100% tax deductible and your satisfaction guaranteed. Call now at 209-44-KEVIN. We'll include two LED lights, AC charger, USB connectors for your smartphones and iPads, one solar panel, and for a limited time, free shipping. For more information, visit kevinshorey.com or call us at 209-44-KEVIN. Thank you for your continued support. Hey, we're back. We are so honored to have one of the premier illusionists here in uh, Branson, and he's been here 11, is it 11 years? 11, I remembered 11 because 11 rhymes with Kevin. So, but 11 years, and uh, he's at the Jim Stafford Theater. We love Jim Stafford, and uh, the theater... I used to actually do church over at the Jim Stafford Theater, myself and my brother years ago from our church. But, uh, man, they're doing these great. And I've always wanted to see, I love all the arts. I believe that it's time for the kingdom of God to take back all the arts. And I love illusions. I love, they just mesmerize me. They just, I, I love that because it just shows the intellect and wisdom God's given all of us in er different areas. And Taylor Reed is one of the best magicians and uh comedians as well and would you welcome for the first time to the kevin shore and hopefully not the last taylor reed yeah how you doing sir Good to be here, man. i am so glad yeah. to have you here is your is your microphone is he is he is he good is he he put yeah i don't want it it looks like it's going to crawl up into your nose or something yeah, i just want to make sure there, it's an illusion can we hear yes yeah, i hear you great yeah, i'm so yeah. glad that you're here you uh Man, you have put on such a great show. Everybody talks about how they're just, they walk away saying, how in the world did he do that? How did he do that? And not only you, but uh, your kids. I've seen your kids mm -hmm. on the Steve Harvey show. Yeah. And uh, we have a picture shot. of that. Little Big Shots. Yeah, the Little Big yeah. Shots. They were on there and like levitated and, and uh, did, uh, uh, I saw Steve they Harvey. Did a time machine where they yeah. turned Steve Harvey into a little boy. It was really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is yeah. way cool. This so, you're obviously teaching the next generation. Yeah, they're kind of the like thing. learning from their dad by mistake, I guess. Uh, now they're down in the basement with a little. Uh, they have a little cash register. Yeah. And they have a little magic show set up <laughs> down there. And uh, my daughter <laughs> says, uh, "Give me money," and then they give me a little ticket to go to their little show that they put on in the basement. Oh, how cute! And then cute. my boy, he says, uh, "I said, are you going to do the rope trick today?" And he says, "Well, I don't do the rope trick during my Christmas show." And I said, oh, we're doing the Christmas show? He said, I'm working on the Christmas show right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, What's your so kids' names now? I have Jillian and Anders. Uh, and Jillian is uh, seven years old. My little boy Anders is five years old. Five yeah. years old. Yeah. Wow. And they, uh, they've been on stage with me here in Branson since they were little babies. So they're really? They're really not scared of the stage at all. They, they love yeah. it. They love attention, you know. So well, yeah, we most kids do, applause. but. That's awesome. How long have you been? You obviously I love attention, too. I uh, started magic <laughs> when I was four years old in wow. Texas. I was a little boy on Christmas Day, actually. Uh, the little magic kit below the Christmas tree is how it all started. Yeah. And I knew from the moment that I touched the magic kit that that was it. You know, that it was, it was like a laser beam. This is, this is it for me. So I pretty much worked on it my wow. whole life as yeah. a kid. And I knew that, you know, someday, some way, I'd be a magic guy. And so... Yeah. Started at four, and I'm now really old. I don't want to say my age, but no. <laughs> I'm getting older. I make up an age yeah. every time I say mine. Yeah. yeah. People are. Uh, I, I moved out here 11 years ago. Uh, Merrill Osmond brought my show out here. I was going to ask. Yeah. Man. Yeah, and he brought me out here. I, I used to be in Vegas. I lived in Vegas for 15 years. Yeah. And I, I tell my audience that I learned when I came to Branson that they have what's called the Branson Intermission. Because it, it's pretty standard for most shows in Branson to have two hours, which is a very, very long time for, for artists. Uh, that's like doing two complete shows. They take yeah. a little intermission. Yeah. And so uh, in Vegas, you can't take intermissions because they wouldn't come back. So <laughs> there's so many distractions. I see, yeah. There. But uh, I love Branson. It's a great place. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, uh, my it children, really is. It's a really wonderful place, I think, to have kids. Yeah. Around. 
very family friendly. We say that all the time, man. The best place on earth. People who come, just don't visit. Come and move here. We yes. just get, we, it's a great place on earth. And uh, they, when they come to Branson, they've got to see the Taylor Reed show. Is that what you call it, the Taylor Reed yeah, show? Yeah, well, let me show you. It's, it's called okay. The Magic and Comedy of Taylor Reed. Mm -hmm. uh, and we I have a to, picture of that, to too. I actually just go by the, the Magic of Taylor Reed, but uh, we were doing so much comedy in the show that people said, you know, I really think you should push that, so... We uh, we do all kinds of grand illusions. Uh, I was on a America's Got Talent a few years ago. That helped us get a little bit of a uh, surge, you know, and a yeah. lot of billboards and stuff with the the logo and and that's nice because people want to see some of the illusions that we performed on that show live. Yes, so that's for always sure. Fun. And one of the things that we really try to do in my show is uh, really make the kids a part of it. So I don't want to be known as the kiddie show per se. But I have the only show in Branson where I do get every kid in the audience up on stage for this one illusion that we do. And that's really uh, fantastic for the moms and dads because they can take a picture or a video of it. Yeah. And then the kids love it because they're like the stars for that moment. Yeah, they get to be part so of the show. That's awesome. And then we try to keep some of the rest of the show more on a David Copperfield level where, it, where it's you know ups and downs between big illusions and mm -hmm. comedy and and variety with the children and also yeah it's uh, we're kind of like my brochure here says all your kids become a part of the show and so being that these shows are two hours long there is a first segment on the first half where I get all the kids involved and on the second half all the kids get to be involved and uh, I've got this brand new illusion called the kid vanish it's gonna be super fantastic the kid so vanish yes there's a few kids That's I'd uh, like you to have <laughs> vanish for me but yeah, moms and dads have been telling me for 11 years now. They say, Taylor Reed, we will come see your show if you make our kids disappear. So yeah, <laughs> I've heard that joke so many times. Yeah. I decided to put it in my show. So it's a, uh, it's really cool. We're going to be doing that next year. That is cool. Uh, I just signed a contract yesterday for all next year as well. At Great. The Sabbath Theater. Awesome. So it's, it'll be my third season next year. Awesome. He's uh, back. The yes. So that's so awesome. Really good stuff. Well, now, when can they see your show? So you you play yes, Monday I, through we're Friday. We're about 200 shows a year right now. There, uh, it kind of varies actually. Primarily, a lot of three o'clocks this season. Okay. Uh, I do some 7:30s on occasion at night. But there are a lot of wonderful shows over there. We have my buddy Jim Stafford there. He mm -hmm. does a lot of night shows. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm looking to try to get a few more night spots. Uh, yeah. I enjoy doing night shows because we get larger crowds due to not competing with Silver Dollar City and some of the other right. activities. Because uh, my family, uh, my show is a family type show with children and, and families. So uh, anytime they're not on race cars swimming or at a theme park, they, uh, they love to go to the Magic. So. Yeah. I've learned in my 11 years here that night times are generally the best time to do a magic show. For sure, show. for so the whole yeah. family. But, uh, uh, but it's great, 3 o'clock most of the time. But yeah. they can go to uh, like taylorreed.com. Uh, Taylor yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. and okay, and we have that below us now up. as we speak. So yeah. we'll keep flashing it up so people know to get tickets oh there. Right, here's a picture. I, I'm sure they've got it somewhere. But my little kids were on Little Big Shots with Steve Harvey. Yeah. And uh, they did a fantastic job. We're really proud of them. They, uh, 22 million people saw them. I mean, it was just yeah. amazing. Yeah. They did 11 million people twice. They played a rerun. Wow. And so that show was actually larger than when I was on America's Got Talent. So Whoa. So my kids have had more views than me. I guess that's crazy. And yeah. Don't let them know. They'll <laughs> remind you all the right time. On, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and also, they got a million hits on YouTube. So it's just, it's crazy. We wow. Got, we're getting calls from all around the world for them to be on uh, London and UK and different places. Whoa. And the TV show even called me and asked me if I'd be a creative consultant for all the young magician kids around the world. And I said, check with me each time, and I'll see what my schedules look like because I'm really busy in Branson doing shows. But yeah. uh, I, I wouldn't mind flying off to London yeah. for four or five days every now and again. London, right? high tea, Make yes. a little money. Yes. And uh, teach a kid a better trick. So anyway, it's, uh, that's it's a lot great. Of fun. I, I love magic. It's basically my life. You know, that's all. And I, I love the fact that it seems like it's really in your heart that you're leaving a legacy to for other to, it, to learn the say the trade as well. It's it's there deep in there somewhere. That is awesome. But I do think it's a God thing. It is. I, I've known this since I was a baby, you know. Yeah. That I think that it's uh, everybody has a special talent. And the sooner you find out what that talent is and, and use uh, a passion, you know, I think it's good to. to Amen. Uh, That's a truth. I, I love doing something that I love to do. That way it doesn't feel like a job. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, so it makes people happy. It just yeah. gives them such joy. And uh, it really is to me because now. There are strict Christians or religious people. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't use the word magic or, you know, it's close to this or, you know, witchcraft or sorcery. That. And I'm like, no, no such thing. They're, they're tricks. Right. They're illusions. They're something that you put some thought into Absolutely. and did to, to make people wonder 
you know, about those. Yeah. I, I think it's great entertainment that really leads to, you know, a blessing. Sometimes when I'm out meeting people, I'll say, come see my show. And they're like, we, we don't like magic. And I'm like, mm, okay. Yeah. yeah, and I tell them I'm a Christian guy. I love God. This yeah. is just entertainment, and they're like, "Don't care." They don't but care. Yeah, some of those people are going to do that. But however, I, I think it's just it's they're just missing like, on great. It's like watching a comedian or a good singer. I think it's just in good fun, you know. Right. As long as the audience. I trick people every day. <laughs> I, I, they think I actually can sing. Oh, yeah, so I sing, and then funny. yeah, see. All right. I'm an illusionist. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but uh, as long as they know this is not real, I mean, come on, you know. Right, it's exactly. Just, just well, let's see some stuff because uh, I'm so glad, oh, I'm so happy. Uh, some some people come on and they they do tricks, but they won't do them for me. So you're the first to really okay. do the. Uh, I'm talking to you, Dave Hamner. Next time you come, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dave Hamner's my buddy. I love Dave Hamner. I do his, too. His he comes and preaches on here, and I love that too. But good you know, I've he's known them since Vegas days years ago, and uh, they're they're great people. Have you seen his trumpet thing he does? I, with I've the, heard about it. it. I want to go see that. Around. Oh, uh, crazy! I heard it was really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love his. Uh, I took my kids to see his show a few months ago before the trumpet, and I loved it when he did the the gorilla. The gorilla. And, uh, my kids loved it. Amazing. And I thought it was going to scare them, but now yeah. they're like they're Hamner's biggest fans. They're yeah. Like, Daddy, let's go see Unbelievable, and I'm like, um, okay. Okay. What about Daddy's show? <laughs> what about Daddy's no, show? <laughs> unbelievable. Okay, thank you. I much. know. No respect no, from the kids. Guy. But uh, <laughs> yeah, let's see something. You have uh, just yeah. amazing ability with. I'll show you something straight on here. All right, let me a, watch in the this monitor. This is kind of cool here with the deck of cards. I'll just kind of make a mess here. Okay. This is something we do on stage with loud music, but check it out here. Throw them up in the air, and there's more. Oh, wow. Right there. And there's more. There you go. Multiplication. This is called uh, 52 pickup the hard way. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> There's some here. And there. Whoa. Is there a green screen? I don't know. Let's see here. No. Nah. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. See, now I can preach a sermon on that, you know, as you give yeah. and the offering, it multiplies. It <laughs> just yeah, keeps I, going. I love that. That's, uh, that's something that... I've been practicing since I was about 12 years old. and uh, See, you have to practice, yeah. I actually won uh, Junior Magician of the Year in 1979, which I am giving away my age now, but uh, in Texas, I'm a Texan, <laughs> and uh, it was at Ooh, the Texas. Texas Association of Magicians Convention in San Antonio, Texas, and uh, I, uh, I spent all summer long practicing this at a 12 or 13-year-old, I can't remember the age, and um, it's something that generally you can only do if you're an adult. You have to have pretty big hands. And right. I, I did it anyway with small hands. <gasps> and uh, the magicians uh, didn't. I, I won, by the way. But I, the magicians didn't clap as much as I thought they would for a kid doing something that's very simple. Yeah. So uh, when I went to the lectures and to the uh, convention rooms and stuff, I said, why didn't they go nuts? Because that's hard, and I'm a kid. And they, they thought I was doing a cheap version of that. They didn't realize I was doing the same thing that the men were doing. I'm, they're like, you're kidding me. And I'm like, no. And I'm showing it to them, and they're like, unbelievable. Wow. And I'm like, I wish you would have applauded. Yeah, that would have <laughs> helped. Yes. I worked really hard for that, but anyway. I know. Well, I've funny. had shows like that. Nobody yeah. applauds. That's why I keep yeah. a hand with me. I say, yeah. you need to applaud. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Yeah. <laughs> Can you show us something else yeah, here? I'll show you a close-up trick here. Okay. That's cool. I've got uh, four quarters and four cards here. This is a... A kind of a fun trick here. Let's see here. Let me get situated. I've got, uh, I'm going to take one card and place it over each coin. If you watch very closely, we'll do this slow like this. One, two, three, and four. And you'll see that up front we have two cards and two quarters. Now what's cool is you just, uh, you snap your finger and just rub it like this. And it kind of shifts over to here. Whoa. Like and now you'll see that we have one back here and two over here. You can cover them up and just kind of rub slowly, and it jumps over to there. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, oh, my sometimes goodness. Sometimes when I do this, people think that actually that I'm just rubbing and picking up and, like, holding the coin. But no, that's not fair. So over here, you see that it's, it's there. Whoa, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Cool. Unbelievable. Thank you. And you've been doing this, you know, since you were 12 or 13? Well, really? Is that well when you... Four, well, four, <laughs> but then... I started, but yeah, I started getting paid for it when I was 10 or 11. Whoa! And that was exciting. So we started doing the birthday party magic as a kid. Yeah. And my father is an entertainer as well. He's a singer, a singer-songwriter, and uh, but he made a lot of money in the, in the real estate industry, actually. So he owned most of the small town I grew up in. He was kind of a Whoa. big guy, you know, that big wig guy. And he, so he, he bought a church and converted it into a theater. 
Yeah. And he called it Taylor Reed's Magical Theater. Because <gasps> I used to go out and do birthday parties at people's houses for right. anywhere from 50 to $150, depending on how big the show was. And he said, let's just bring them to your theater, and all they have to do is bring the cake. So it was <laughs> 150 bucks, and they came in and brought the cake and the kids, and we had uh, you know, Coke machines, popcorn machines, and like 20 illusions backstage. So when the curtains opened, they got like a David Copperfield type of show for 150 yeah. bucks. So wow. It was really fun. That's and great. I, I got a lot of experience doing that in yeah. Texas in a little theater. So. Man, well, I'm glad you're in Branson in the theater here at Jim Stafford's, and, and I hope you'll be here forever. Yeah, uh, we're, because some happy. some guys come and go, you know, but that's true. But, but you've been a good staple here for quite a while. I appreciate it's that. A tough town. Did you have you ever met any of those David Copperfield oh, or yeah. maybe I've met them all just about, you know? Yeah. And the only guy that I haven't met uh, was Houdini, but he's dead. Right. He was no, probably I'm joking. <laughs> he was no, gone. Actually, uh, David Copperfield is <laughs> a buddy of mine. Uh, I know uh, Chris Angel. I know all these guys. The only really? guy that I haven't met that's kind of big here in the last few years is uh, David Blaine. I, I never uh -huh. met David, but I've heard he's a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I've got a friend in the audience that's a celebrity superstar here. His what? name is Tony Hossini, the guy with the white shirt. This guy right here oh. is legendary in the world of magic, and he's in town for a few days. And we're well, doing, welcome. We're doing some projects together, actually. Yeah, he's welcome, Tony, then, one today. Of the largest, one of the largest magic societies on earth this guy has, and he is the guy that knows every s magic star he's he's met guys that i've only heard of but i've i've met most of the the big guys and wow wow well we're honored that he's, he's here a, he's a wonderful man i'm honored you're here oh. sir I, I really appreciate that and i appreciate that you do believe in family and love the lord and uh and just represent i believe you represent him well and i don't care what religious may say i think you represent it well and you do us all a service by to me a lot of entertainment for me is escape and sometimes we just escape and we yeah. just uh, you know, we, we go into that world and, and yeah. say, yeah, maybe all things are possible. Yeah. I mean, to me, it just, it brings, can you go uh, into the audience? Were you going to do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Can I you do that? Absolutely. And maybe somebody, somebody can, or if they want to come here, whichever is you want to go out I'll, there. I'll go to them. We'll all right, here we go. I'll Mitchell, they're going to go. Here. We'll see what we can do here. Show one show more. Something kind of fun. I'll walk around back here. This is something that involves these ladies here. If y'all can just hold your hands out for me, please. And I'm going to show you something cool here. It's a very simple illusion with s two little balls. And I'm going to take one, place it in my hand, and one in your hand. Squeeze really tight. Now watch this. It is currently gone. Open your hand, please, and check it out. Okay. <laughs> it fell. So we're going to try this one more time. Watch this. Hold out your hand. Watch one, two. Two balls. Squeeze really tight. And put your hand right in the center of the table. Watch a little drum roll. And open. <laughs> check it out right there. <laughs> yes. Now we have uh, one final, one final uh, effect here with one ball squeezed really tight, and I'm going to take these balls away and place them in my pocket. Now watch closely. Open your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. That. Maybe in editing we'll put some music in there while he's doing it, you know, to build up to the to the thing. Matt, thank you so much for being here. Let's once yeah. again, taylorreed.com to get your yes. tickets. Thank you, sir. And uh, uh, go, it's at the Jim Stafford Theater, yes. uh, 3 o'clock most times. He has yeah. some night shows, but please, please go see him. Go support support those who are not only doing good entertainment, but uh, really honor the Lord, you know, and honor family. And your kids are in the show Yes, they are. As it's well. Like dates. They're not their ever show. I tell my wife to just let them come in when they feel like it. They're, that's good. I thought it would be best that way. That's so. good. And they're superstars as well. They're that's on the awesome. little big shots with Every Steve Every show Harvey. I do, though, they are in my show, Multimedia. I do some yeah. video stuff. I talk about Ellen DeGeneres and some other things in it. So they are a very big part of my show, even if they're not there. And it's funny, and it's great, and I show a little clip of them, but it's, uh, it's good stuff. That's awesome. It's all good stuff. Yeah. Go see that. I'll be back to get on my soapbox and really tell you what I really think in just a minute. But first, uh, I got a word for you about partnership with us. Roll it. Galatians 6, 9 and 10 says this, Let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap a harvest if we don't lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially those who are of the household of faith. We will not grow weary in promoting the gospel of Jesus Christ here on the Kevin Shorey Show, telling everybody every day Jesus is the answer for the world 
today. Would you help us? It says when you have opportunity, give into the household of faith. Would you help us in promoting the gospel of Jesus Christ? If you will, $33 a month will help us if everyone gets on board. It's a dollar for every year I've been in ministry. If you'll give $33 and pledge every month for the rest of this year without even asking, we will send you gifts like these. A brand new DVD of Gordon Peterson and giving you all the benefits of silver. He also has his brand new book, The Fighting Chance. And we want to send these two things to you with a bonus, my Praise and Worship CD. This is July's monthly gift. All three of these things send free shipping to you for your pledge of $33 a month. You can call today, 209-44-KEVIN, or you can write P.O. Box 525, Reed Spring, Missouri, 65737. Go to the website. You can also sign up there at kevinshorey.com. Start and help partner with us. Bless us, it says, as you have opportunity into the household of faith. And if you do this and not lose heart, you will reap a harvest. That's what we're trying to do, man. We're trying to reap a harvest, and we're trying to reach the world. Let there be no doubt. This program is entertainment, but with a message. The message is Jesus. I once heard it said that some people are so deep, they drown, right? And some people are so deep into, like, uh, this is, you know, the devil's work or whatever it is. Believe me that it takes more skill to do these illusions and these tricks uh, without using any of the supernatural. I believe in the supernatural. Here's the difference. We do the tricks. We do the illusions. We make it look real. The, these great uh, magicians do these, these kind of things, and they entertain us and wow us, and we can escape into that world for a while until we have to go back into reality. And that's what, what movies and the arts, that's what they do. They're to bless us. They're to help us. But to, they're not the all in all of course that's the flesh let me tell you i was in london one one day and went to to uh it was called the history of the bible it was a bible broadway it was on in london musical uh, production and what they did was basically just water down the bible and part of it was saying that jesus just performed tricks well uh, he didn't perform tricks. He performed real miracles. That's the difference. And he wants to do a miracle in you. That's what this is about. Let him do that today. Remember, as we'll see you tomorrow, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Let him do a miracle inside of you. It's no illusion. It's no trick. It's the real thing. We'll see you tomorrow. Come on. Give God praise. With your gift of support to this ministry of $699 or more, we want to bless you with our new solar generator. Now you can have the peace of mind during any power outage due to storms, natural disaster, or power failure. Going camping? Take the solar generator with you, and you can have lights, heat, and communication for emergencies. For the price of a new smartphone, we will send you the new solar generator with free shipping. We'll include the solar panel for charging, two lights, an electrical plug for wall charging, cell phone and iPad connectors, as well as a toll-free 24-hour, 7-day-a-week support line. Log on to KevinShorey.com to donate online or call us at 209-44-KEVIN with your credit card donation. You can also send a check or money order to Kevin Shorey Ministries, Post Office Box 525, Reed Springs, Missouri 65737. Thank you for your continued support.